move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's been a long time. Walking Dead, what's this called? A New Frontier, basically season three. When I did Walking Dead seasons one and two, the comment section was crazy. Everybody enjoyed that shit. So we gotta do this game. You know the rules, hands and feet inside the goddamn ride at all times. Put your favorite parts of the video as a timestamp in the comment section. Let's hop into this shit. Let's go. Can we continue? Ooh! Okay, so you're able to load your first save file from the last season. David, I had to leave my car. It's traffic's just it's backed up for miles. He's dead. No. No. I, I, I tried. You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. I tried. Please, I tried. Oh, you tried? You fucking tried? Fraser. Everyone's here. They've been here for days. And where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. Donde está Javier? Donde está mi hijo? I'm there, right beside him, holding his hand, like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? He was my dad too, all right? I mean, you're not, you're not the only one dealing with this. And what a fine son you turned out to be. Uncle Javi? Why, why are you fighting? I can hear you from inside. Don't worry, Gabe. We're just horsing around. Yeah. Just a joke between brothers, you know? Yeah. Your uncle doesn't know how to take anything seriously. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. Your motherfucking ass. I should call someone. Pick up the body. Yeah. <clears throat> I love you, little brother. You know that, right? With everything going on. I know. Well, let me ask y'all, is we gonna go, I'm gonna probably put a poll up, is we gonna go full Savage on this season or not? They dropped two episodes for the first time. They never do that, by the way. You think I was jealous of you. 
No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. I know. You're right. I won't even argue. I'll be around more, honestly. You can count, count on, on it, it, huh? I want to believe that. I do. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on. Alright, so we starting it off. Brand new character, Javi. I want to see Clementine. See what she's up to since they let us load from our last save file. We um went with Kenny on the last one. Mama. Dad, where were you? I tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, mama. He got slapped like Martin on nothing to lose, yo. Give me a timestamp for that shit. What are the plans for this? She slapped the shit out of him. David made arrangements with your father before he passed. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pipo's awake. Where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. <laughs> keys are on the dash. <laughs> Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. 
Don't take the highway. It's blocked. <sighs> I'll bring the van around. Where's Mari? I, I don't know. Miha. Mariana! From the stars! Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Come on, honey. We have to go. No, no, no! 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 It's okay. County General Hospital. I know the way. So this is the beginning of the infection. They don't even know what's going on. bit too. Bro, this shit is lit already. I'm gonna do the whole first episode in one video, bro. We're gonna drop y'all one hour. Matter of fact, Drop a like on this shit, cause I'm gonna get y'all the whole first. Damn you, ugly bitch! Okay, the whole first episode in one goddamn video, because I because I'm a little bit late, so it's gonna Tell be late night, but it's gonna be the whole thing. Okay. Man, I don't think I've seen this many. It's definitely growing. Yeah, not a great sign. I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on. We should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. Probably looks a little bit older. Looks like a little bit of time has passed. <sighs> It looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. We should keep moving. It worked for us so far. As long as we stay supplied, we're fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. The van isn't so bad. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. You smoke weed? We just started a walk through. You bitch, you already smoking weed? Do you want me to do that? The last joint you rolled looked like a kazoo. <laughs> You're driving, and I've come a long way since then. Uh, it was like three days ago. Relax. Mariana's got headphones on, and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. She got a cassette player back there. You gonna smoke right in there with the kids, bitch? You want some? Get that shit out my motherfucking Thanks. face! One of us should be sober. <sighs> Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but yeah, you know, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. Or at least you'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> Do you miss him? I think about that a lot. Honestly, I'm not sure. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. <sighs> Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... <sighs> Some days I just won't leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus, obviously. Look, I didn't sign up for this either. Sometimes life decides for you. 
That sounded deep, didn't it? <laughs> uh, no. No, it didn't. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. Man, he's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. What are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ, I need to get laid. <laughs> no, I can pull over. It wouldn't take a minute. <sighs> wouldn't be worth it for just a minute. Huh. Mm. I dropped the D off right now! What's that smell? None. That's gross. Hey, Mariana, I, I think we, we uh, must have hit a skunk or something back there. I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Ugh. Oh my God. You're even smoking in the car now. All right. Everyone, roll the windows down before you all get contact high. We're about to make a supply stop. D, you worried about supplies? Need to supply the D, sir. So I can already tell the teenagers are going to be assholes and want to have to deal with them telling us what they ain't going to do. So um, you be prepared for that, because those decisions are going to come in. comfortable than the last batch of people from the Walking Dead games. Looks like Hobby has a sword on his back. Hope they all have weapons on them. Can't just be walking around here without no goddamn weapons. Shit is too real. There you go. You want a moment alone, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar? Need, Mariana. Not want. Pretty much everything. If it looks useful, let's use it. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. Where are you going? I don't like okay, him. that's cool. Have fun. You little asshole. Then we gonna have to save his stupid ass. It never ends with him. It don't. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. Hey, I know that's what families do. They fight, they make up, and they fight all over again. At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but... The batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. Well, when you put it that way, I wish I had a pair too. You can borrow mine if you want. I might just have to do that. It'd be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you can find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. It's been four years. Okay, so that, we have a time frame now. I really don't like them letting the kids walk off and all that. Especially that boy. He gonna be like uh, Tom Cruise's son on War of the Worlds and shit. Talk to her hey, any luck, kiddo? I need a pen. Or a pencil. Just something to write with. 
Yeah, I guess you are a little too old for crayons now. I guess so. Last night I was thinking about this stupid story my mom used to tell me all the time before bed. I used to hate it. But... <laughs> but then I realized I don't remember the ending. It was this goofy ending she thought was so funny and I thought was so dumb. I want to write down everything I can remember about everything. Because if I forget and they're all gone, I'm kind of gone too. At least a little bit. I just think that might be kind of important. That's a great idea, Mariana. Mariana's cool. It's a nice kid. But uh, hopefully she can um, fend for herself if she needs to. Waste oil. No use to us. I miss Lee, man. Lee was that dude, fam. Okay. I'm just looking around here. Everybody keep your eyes open. Oh, that's gross. Okay. Now I'm sorry I did that. Man, it's hard as hell. You find anything? I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it and, and that's it. Peace, asshole. Can't charm your way out of that one. And we'd be gone in seconds. Hey, don't think about that. We're careful. We're smart. We'll stay ahead of them. <sighs> Luck runs out just as easily as gas. There's gonna be a last one, you know? A last tank of gas. Last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And, and the next? And the next? We're not gonna let that happen. Okay? Okay, I let it have its five minutes. I'm good. Yeah, we need positivity, man. You keep that negativity to yourself. We're going to find what we're looking for. All right. Once this car made someone very happy. Now it sits here, rotting away. Así es la vida. At least Navi died, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what was you doing? Doing all your change, bitch! Get from under there! What? Look at you! Under there giving a fucking oil change. Get out of here! He was he was better down there changing the brakes, rotors, and shocks. Sprains and shocks and shit. Get from under there. Ugh, not much. But every bit helps. You do have to wonder, like after four years, man, a lot of the food, unless it was canned or or like processed, is is spoiled, man. Like all the fresh Acetylene. fresh food is spoiled. Handy for welding. Long spoiled. But not much else. There's not a whole lot of animals on this game. I guess they also got killed by the um, by the herd of infected as well. The only thing we got to run into, we ran into a dog who tried to kill us on season two of The Walking Dead, and there was a cow. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. At the Jeffrey Dahmer farm and shit. Ugh, I don't think these tires would fit the van. So, Playlist Gang, I hope y'all in the building already, man. I ain't going to do the whole episode two for y'all in one video. But at least today, I can drop this whole thing on down there for y'all. Give y'all some time to cans, watch it. Old newspaper. <sighs> All that's left in this junkyard is junk. So, uh, I got to try to get y'all some content. Nothing up then. there but garbage. Leave it Thursday. Coming back Sunday on Christmas Day. Won't be no goddamn videos on Christmas. I promise you that tank. shit. There might be videos in the playlist, but I ain't gonna post. I'm not gonna put anything in the sub boxes on Christmas Day. I'm trying to chill out with y'all families and stuff. You know what I mean? Too risky to search up there. Doesn't look stable. Don't worry, man. A Vice City's coming soon. I gotta try to complete Watch Dogs 2. 
Get a little farther in urban rain, I'll bust out the Vice City. We might kick the new year off with that Vice City. What's going on in there, buddy? I'm in a bad mood, okay? I want it to go away, but he won't. I just wish we weren't always on the road. I like being with other people. It's just, we're in that car for so damn long. The AC hasn't worked in ages. And then, it ain't my last damn tape. But we still got each other. It's better than nothing, right? I don't know. Maybe just leave me alone. Okay. But if you want to talk later, I'm... around. My life is so bad. We don't have AC. Fuck the fact that there's millions of zombies running around killing bitches. I'm worried about the temperature of the car because it's hot. You goofy... You know what, man? This one looks promising. Was I that big of an asshole when I was his age? A lot, a lot of y'all gonna get get a little bit older. You get about bingo. 24, 25. You gonna realize, like, damn, I must have really been an asshole when I was a teenager. Oh lord! Hold on, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Right, on the bright side, guys, ain't gonna be no cliffhanger action until the end of the entire episode. But please believe, like, you know, we gonna definitely hit y'all with them, them cliffhangers come episodes two, three, four, and five. Like, Looks you know, like there's more to see up here. <laughs> do we climb or do we stay? Now, if this was real life, I wouldn't climb. But this, we got to see what's going on for, for entertainment purposes. I'm a clack. Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe, stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. Gabe, Javi... I gotta get all the names down again. I forgot her name. Is it Kate? And Mariana? Mariana? Something like that. Hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. Very patient dude, man. He seems like he'd be a cool uncle or big brother. Instead of yelling at him. Shit, locked. Still might be gas in the tank, though. Unfortunately, we can't bust the windows. We don't want to make a whole bunch of noise over here. Shit, it's locked. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Look at all that fuel. This is going to take a while. Why don't you let him pump some of the gas? Let him get involved. He seems like he want to do something. He seems like he's happy he found that. Shit. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. Why, you, why do we need to walk over there? We just came over here for gas. Why don't we finish getting the gas before we walk out there? Oh, man. I, I mean... Ransacked a long time ago. Plus, I, I like the, the graphics is improved on the hair, too. Because I don't think this came out on PS3 and Xbox 360. We got supplies over here. Might be able to get in through the hatch.
locked. <clears throat> Not gonna be able to pry this open. Damn it. <sighs> Looks pretty run down. Can't go in through that door. Is there another way for us to get inside that building? Um, I really don't want to have to be climbing through. What are you looking at? I didn't even see that piece of wood right there. Gabe, come check this out. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no more those at least. Just be careful. Wow, this place is decked out. Take those. Maybe use that for, for later. Maybe if she needs some new batteries for her cassette tape, or if we find a flashlight or something. Flashlights usually take bigger batteries, though. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Check it out. This is actual honest-to-God pudding. Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. Well, this place is kind of a dump. I mean, literally. And you forgot to mention super freaking weird. It's a lot of food to leave in a place like this. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't... Mm. Do we stay at night? Or do we not? Can we just enjoy it? Javi? All right. Can we? We, can we gonna keep out, moving because we might be stealing ways. somebody's shit. We're gonna get what we came for and get out of here. Yeah, man. Great. Another shitty cramp night in our shitty cramp van. Hooray. Come on. Let's at least grab the food. We don't want to be here sleep if somebody pull up. You know what I'm saying? We want to be on the road and away from here. They won't know it was us. I'm gonna save them battery. She ain't getting that right now. Might need them later. Hey, thanks for that. Backing me up and all. How does it feel to be the bad guy this time? It must be a new sensation for you. Oh, well, clearly I have a thicker skin. Hey, Kate, can you come help us with this? <sighs> hey, uh, wait, but you... This way you can make up for being the bad guy. Thanks. Grab some gas. We need to head out soon. Uh, I didn't realize they handed us a candy. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Nothing. I knew it, bro. Go on, speak up. 
where I was just passing by and the dude said, oh. I'm sorry, man. Look, it's just a can. We needed it really we? bad. I fucking knew it. There's more than just you out here. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. I just told you that. That's how you <laughs> got mother. No, uh -uh. I'm alone. Honestly, people just slow me down. You just said we, you lying fuck. We! Fan <laughs> out and look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. You just said we! We! Hey! You assholes in there! I got your boy! You don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. Friends had a real face time. You can't just take what you like. I ate all those. Yeah, me. You? By yourself? Now, nah. yeah, what can I say? I fucking love pudding. <laughs> you got a real smart mouth. What you gonna do about fucking watch what you say. What you gonna do? Man? Look, I, I I get it, all right. You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Look, your buddy's not thinking straight, so let's talk, okay? You and me, we, we can get this sorted out. No, it's his call. Look, man, this doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? Nothing. What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. Shit. Guys, get the fuck in here! <sighs> uh. Holy shit! Yeah, he got the big ass double barrel shotgun. You have to pay for what you done here. Wait, 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 don't you! I might have. <laughs> I might have. I might have fucked up. <laughs> I might have fucked up right there. I feel like that was supposed to happen though. Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Fucking asshole. Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. You have to go back. My family's back there. Hey, you gotta listen to me. There's a herd coming. A massive one. And Yeah, we... and that's why we're driving away from it. Please, just- Stop, all right? You don't want me riled up, kid. Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! Oh, no, no! Have you really got knocked out from that? 
Should have had on your goddamn seatbelt. He got a seatbelt on. Damn. Okay. Hey! I'm not gonna shoot my gun with a, with a herd of zombies coming. I wanted to shoot him, but I'm not going to shoot him. Yeah. All right. That's good. Just keep looking forward. Look, I'm already having a bad fucking day here. This is not what it looks like. Looks like you let him go. Huh. I doubt he'd have done the same for you. Clementine! We love you, Clementine. Welcome back. Don't shoot him, Clementine. Okay. Now don't do anything stupid. Cause I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. Clementine's about that action though. <laughs> Lee taught you well, Clem. She ain't no damn kid. Whoa, Just wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Oh shit. Well, you almost crushed me in the process. Tree fell slower than I thought it would. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. <laughs> hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. Oh. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. I mean, we gotta go back to the family, man. I'm sorry, guys, I gotta do it. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe she'll let us ride got with a her. deal. Good. Let's go. I'm begging on Clementine letting us ride with her. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Well, thanks for not killing me, Clementine. Don't thank me yet. out here in the survival game i mean she was already out here doing doing work before but now she's she got even more experience we don't know what happened to 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 kenny or anybody else so got keep walking they're not even fast <laughs> Look at that. the expertise! Look at the technique! Look, you don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. You give me a weapon, we can protect each other. I give you a weapon, I can't take my eyes off you. At least this way I know what I'm up against. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? 
Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Sounds kind of lonely, if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. And, anyway, I prefer it like that. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. I didn't realize that was his brother's wife. You know what I'm saying? She was talking about getting the D and all that. I didn't realize that. Gabe and Mariana are tough kids. They learned how to survive on their own. You seem to know a thing or two about that. Yeah. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! Yeah, we're gonna listen to whatever Clem says. There's gonna be no, absolutely no disrespecting of Clementine during this walkthrough. We won't stand for that shit. She is enshrined in our hall of greatness, bruh. If I see any disrespect, they, people won't get dealt with, bruh. There! Get to the gate! Out as we get there. Just keep going. Go open up. Shit. I knew it. Hey. Open up. I can't open the gate till you clear them out. Can't risk it. Francine, one of these days, those doors are gonna close and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. Hey, I remember this place. Okay. So I'm guessing even it's though... Cool place, actually. I think the story was supposed to go I like guess. this. I think you leave your phone behind regardless. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. In the meantime... Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... They'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets.
unfortunately. So maybe this story is about getting back to our family for the most part. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Chess? Chess. Not really my game. Me either. I think Gabe used to play, though. Excuse me. Ah, oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what is worth it. I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. The past is the past. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well... Maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm, don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Though all it takes is one good hand. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over. <laughs> is that a fact? All right, I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight? Oh, hell yeah! Well, you got nice. a pair of kings. Well, calm down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, hon. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries. And he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? You damn right. Damn right. Because I don't scare easy, all right? Damn right. So you better figure out a way to fix this. And I mean real fast. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, fucking believable. Look out! <laughs> Whoa! I didn't think he was going to do all that! What are you doing? Oh. Break his damn arm. Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just... got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed! Jesus! You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Yes, it is. Now you were saying, sir? We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it. You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Absolutely. Man, you better... Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? God damn it. 
I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do Whoa. with you. Okay, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. <laughs> <laughs> I ought to punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade-A certified dipshit. So you knew that. Come on. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. My man. Now let me out of this debt, this shit. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um... That was cool of you. Of course. Anytime. I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Oh, Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Yes, it is. Is it now? Now. Let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. <sighs> I've never understood it. Yeah? Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> I'll give you that one. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? That guy had it coming. Believe me. Karma, justice, you call it whatever you want. Fuck that bastard. Hey, okay. If you say so. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing people. You're not gonna let us out, so I'm not gonna say it. You've done enough. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? All right, fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip. It doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. Nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard... Something tells me Trip won't be too happy about you sneaking us out the back door. He'll get pissy, but he'll get over it. Sometimes with him, you gotta ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah, she's... She's something. The thing is, is... And maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. All right, I'm, we gonna listen to, we gonna let Clementine is the OG. She trusts Trip more, so I'm gonna listen to Clementine, yo. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. 
It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. I like this better than the Walking Dead Michonne already, yo. That's good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. Now, just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now, let's try shifting into second. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I want to do it again. You will. And next time, just be gentle. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Yeah, no kidding. It's freezing outside. The sooner the better, for sure. No more winters ever again, Clem. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Hey, I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I... I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. You're the best second chance I could ask for. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket? The Duck was gabbing a mile a minute his age. There's nothing wrong with AJ. He'll talk when he's ready. I know. Just a bit odd for a child his age. Then again, Albert Einstein didn't talk till he was four, and look how he turned out. How old is age? Crap! I got it! Turn the wheel! Don't! Oh, oh my god, I must missed it. Okay. Shit. Help me up. I don't. I don't feel anything. That's good. No, Clem. I don't feel anything. I can't feel my legs. I just can't get up. I can get you into the car! I don't... <clears throat> Shit! This ain't gonna work, Clem. Hey! Hey! Stay away from him! <laughs> you gotta go help AJ, Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. Go, Clem! <laughs> okay. 
Okay, Kitty. Goodbye. Good. Go. Now, goddammit! Hey, dipshits! Come and get it! They've been through. That's that's what happens. Uh, really? At least we know what happened to Kenny. God damn. Hey, Clem. We almost there. Hey, Clem. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. Though why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. Hey, I didn't ask her to. She did that all on her own. Yeah, well, I guess she's got her reasons for things, but I never can quite figure out what they are. Guys, that's the place. Shit. What a mess. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? God, you're safe. I can't believe it. You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. I'm so sorry I left you behind. I've been trying to get back here this whole time. You don't have to be sorry. You said you'd come back, and you did. Kate and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van. And that's where we're headed. Let's go find your brother, sweetheart. Oh no. No. No sign of him. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just. I'm, this this, this shit. This is crazy. Stay back. All right. Are they both in there? Is the bro- Is the brother in there too? It'd be cool if we could just draw him away from the van or the truck for a minute. <laughs> us hey hey it's okay i got you you happy to see me i'm happy to see all of you happy you're all okay another couple of minutes we might not have been but then you showed up just when it really mattered yeah well that's kind of my thing oh <laughs> I, I wanted to come after you I swear I did. You don't have Everybody's to good. all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. You're still alive, aren't you? So is Kate. So is Mari. That's all that matters. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. 
Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. As soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Please don't tell us we're gonna we're gonna get basically like oh my god, Javi, trapped do they in, have the, hot in water? the town again and not be allowed even to like leave. lukewarm water would be okay. Ah, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I think so. Right, Trip? <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out. I thought you'd been to this place. I have. I just. I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi suite, you know? Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. Well, let's wait to celebrate until we're back behind the walls, okay? I don't want to jinx us. Well, some things are worth saying woo-hoo about, that's all. Sorry, Clement, when we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten our arrangement. I know it's not the easiest thing to find, but... Cool. Thanks. Right now, Kate needs a doctor, <laughs> which means we gotta go. We got a window here, man. I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna kill all of them. You wanna die too? You think that's gonna help your little girl? So what? I'm just supposed to let him live? If you wanna do what's right for your family, you'll come with me. It's time to go, man. We stay here and we finish this. Are you fucking nuts? We gotta get the fuck out of here right now! We already now. killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Trip help them. You stay with me. What? No, uh, Javi, you have to come with us. Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. Let's get go. Back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. Give me a hand here, kid. Just keep firing until they're out of sight. Okay? I'm ready. We rockin' with Clementine on this one. She said clean him up, that's what we gonna do. Nice headshot. Javi, don't! Oh, no, no, they can't do this shit right now. They can't. Ah! 
That's okay. Episode two, it, both episodes one and two, they brought both of them out this time. So tomorrow we're gonna start episode two. I hope you all enjoyed. If you made it to the end of the video, you gonna say Clementine is back in the comment section. I'm gonna give away a $50 gift card to anybody, that, um, to a random person from the comment section. Make sure you like, leave a like on this shit, man. Um, let's shoot for about 2,000 of them hoes, man. Subscribe to the channel or run the fade in the street. All right, I'm gonna holla at you all later. I hope you enjoy. Peace, y'all.